Hello everyone, Swaroop here. Welcome to another tutorial in the C programming series. This video is the number 26 in this series. Uh, so in this tutorial, we'll extend our calculator program by using functions. So if you're not familiar with functions, go ahead and uh, watch the last two tutorials we have done. So the, that should give you a good introduction of what functions are and how you create your own functions. All right. So the idea here of this program is to take two numbers and print out all the possible combinations that is addition, multiplication, subtraction and division and print them out. Okay. So let's get started. So first I'll start by taking a number. So these are the two numbers that we have and we have to print out all the combinations of these methods. So for this, I'm going to create uh, methods for each of the operations that we have. That is uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So I'll just do int a and int b and I'll see this. So this will uh, return us the addition and I, I'm just copy pasting this four times to get the rest of it as well. Right, so with this we have all the four definitions of these methods ready. But as you remember, uh, since we're putting these functions at the bottom of the page, that is after the main method ends, so this is the main method here, we have to put the declaration uh, or what we call as the signature of the method on the top. So we do this by just copying this, this first line and pasting it here. So we'll do the same for all the methods. So that would be sub, mol, and def. So with this, we have all the methods we want ready for us. So now we'll just go ahead and print all of them. So the way we are printing is with person D because all the numbers are integers. Person. So I'm just going to print them in order. And so I'll just say, first comes addition. So with this and the semicolon at the end, don't forget that. So with this, we are able to print all the outputs of these methods. And by the way, uh, I'm sure you have noticed already that we have a multi-line print function. You could do that. Uh, as long as, uh, don't forget to close the bracket at the end, you can have print spanning across multiple lines. So if I put all of them in the single line, it becomes too big and uh, I would have to scroll back and forth. But instead, if I put on multiple lines, it becomes easier to read. So now let's just check if it's working as expected. So I'm just going to run this by clicking this green icon. And we have an error. Yep. So uh, as you see, the error is because we have an extra comma here, which we don't need. So I'm just going to remove that and run it again. And now, uh, as expected, we get all the outputs. So we got addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division all, uh, all at once. Now let's improve this by taking the input from the user instead of giving the values here. So we can do that by saying print, print F rather. So with this, we can just take any numbers the user has given and we'll be able to calculate the output for that. And we have another error this time. And uh, this I know because we need sing double quotes, not single quotes here. I've been dabbling with a lot of Python these days and that's why you see this happening. And also don't forget to close the semicolons in the end. So now if we could run it, it's asking us for the first number, I'll see 67, negative 67. And the 
second number is let's say 56 and it gives me all the possible uh, values and you will notice that the division output which is the minus one here is actually doing the integer division uh, because both the numbers are integers but say we want to do the actual division as well so we can do that by defining another method and uh, I'm calling it R div so for real division and int b and also uh, since we expect it to be a floating pointer double value I have to make it a float instead of an int so I'm doing that and then I'll say return a by b but here I have to type cast it to the value I am expecting it so with that this gives me an actual division value that is in floating point and we'll be able to use it and also since we have created this here we need to add this in the signature of the methods as well so you we can do that and then finally I can just do this here our div first and second so yeah so now we should be able to print everything we need except and of course there is an extra quote here so we'll just remove that and now execute it again well it seems like I'm all right so let's execute again and we'll see enter first number so it's coming from here I'll just say 45 enter second number I'll say 67 and we didn't get anything there because I have to add another one here as well so I'll do percentile F here instead So now without any errors we should be able to get everything we need so 45 67 I guess right yep and as you can see we got the floating point output and uh, that is how we create functions and use them for our applications extending this program you could also make the user give the type the kind of operation he wants to perform so that is uh, instead of us giving all the values we are looking for we could just give him what he asked for so in, instead of just taking first and second numbers uh, we might be able to we we need to take another uh, input as well that is the operation and then you check the operation with a switch statement or an if else block and then do the appropriate operation so I'm, I'm going to leave that as a, as a assignment for you guys so, so try that out and let me know how that goes all right so that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye